Risk is a mathematical concept and so whenever we discuss risk we find that there are some maths terms that crop up. A few of these basic terms need to be understood before we go any further. So this short video is going to look at averages or means, medians, deciles, probability and then risk itself. Let's start by looking at what we mean by average. An average is simply the total of a number of figures divided by how many figures you had in your group. It's probably the um, value that we tend to think of when we are trying to describe a typical value. What we know though is that averages can be really misleading. And for example, we all know that one year of heavy rain in an otherwise really dry area can result in a very misleading average. A better way of describing annual rainfall is to use the median. Here we've got a listing of rainfall figures for 30 years from a particular location and they've simply been put in order from the driest year through to the wettest year. We can see that 50% of the years, or 15 years, fell below the red line and 50% were above the red line. This means that our median would sit right on that red line and to get a value for it we would add the figure above and below the red line, 30 and 37, and divide by 2. Deciles give an even better idea of how dry or wet a period has been compared to our historical records. Again we've got those same rainfall figures ranked from the driest year through to the wettest year. There are 30 years of figures here and we divide them up into bands of 10% or 3 years in each band. We then label those bands from the lowest through to the highest as decile 1 through to decile 10. This means that our lowest 10% of our rainfall years are in decile range 1. The next 10% are in decile range 2 and so on. We can also see that the top of decile range 5 is the median. The idea of probability is really important in any discussion of risk management and it's simply the chance of some event occurring and usually we express it as a percentage somewhere between 0 to 100 percent. 0 percent probability means that it is certain it will not happen. 100 percent probability means that it is certain that it will happen. Probability only has meaning before the event occurs and it contains that idea of uncertainty. Remembering that the probability of 100% means absolute certainty of success or of having the event occur or 0% which is the absolute certainty of failure. But apart from these, there's always a chance that we may either succeed or fail. We can say that the probability are the odds of something happen, happening. And we can think of them pretty well as bookmakers' um, odds. Which leads us to risk. Now we've all got an idea that risk is a chance, or now we call it probability, of some undesirable event occurring. And we know that in farming we face a lot of risks. In this course, in this video, we're really only talking about climate risk, but there are many other risks involved in successful farm management. The actual definition of risk 
to work it out mathematically is to multiply the chance or probability of an event happening with a damage or loss that we would incur if it, that event happens. Of course what might be a risk to me may be an opportunity for someone else. When we have uh, observed for instance a drought in another part of the world it may result in us receiving an opportunity to receive better prices for our products. Or as I've said here one person's poison can be another person's medicine. Think about these concepts and try and get comfortable with the words average, median, decile, probability and risk before you go to the next video called decision making climate risk.